angry guy here, and women are struggling with loneliness as password bros leave. Women are struggling with loneliness as password bros leave. This is a very common thing we've been hearing recently that there is a serious crisis in the United States of loneliness. A lot of people are, are very are struggling with loneliness. It's amazing because a lot of women today are saying that they're just fine. They have everything they need. They're not worried about getting married, having children. They're focusing on their career. And yet we do have these other women that are coming out and saying, no, loneliness is very much real. It is something that I'm struggling with. And no matter what I'm doing, I cannot get over it. So let's go ahead and just jump into this video. like waiting for those stupid endorphins to kick in and they're nowhere to be found. I'm in this headspace right now where I'm, I just feel incredibly lonely. Um, I just don't feel seen. I don't feel like I have people that see me. And how do you do that? I, I don't even know how to do that. I don't even know how to make, like, genuine friends. I don't. I know how to mother people. I don't know how to be cared for. Like my hyper-independent self, I'm struggling with the fact that I just want somebody to tell me that it's okay and to <laughs> hold me, hug me. I don't know. I don't know. And to be fair, I'm very hormonal, and I did have to skip a few days of my psych meds, my mood, whatever, antidepressants, um, last week. But sometimes I wonder if, like, this is, like, my more authentic self when I feel this way, when I'm not masking it with medication. I don't know. I just feel really hard to love right now, and... I know that that's part me and that's part like my history and the way people have made me feel. Um, I just don't know how to shake it. Hitting the wall and ending up. It's so crazy because so many women, you know, they chose to live these lives of promiscuity where they decided they did not need a man. She, she has said that she, you know, her independent self is now struggle, struggling and she doesn't really know how to handle it. It's something that's quite overwhelming. And she also mentions that she uses uh, psych medication and, you know, and what she's currently, she's been skipping it for whatever reason. Guys, I'm independent. I can do everything on my own. And now I'm in my 30s or my 40s and I am absolutely lonely. I want someone to hold me. I want someone to be there for me. I want someone to talk to me. But I have literally no one. You have to you have to truly wonder if the women who told other women that they could have it all or they should they should focus on careers and prioritize that and prioritize their careers over marriage and having children. You have to wonder if these women were setting other women up. I saw this video years ago. It was a woman in Australia and she had, you know, returned to traditionalism. She was married to a janitor, a janitor, I believe, or something like that. And she was, she, you know, she said that she believed that the women of the seventies who, you know, who were, who, who basically wanted women to enter the workforce. She thinks that those, she thinks those women were setting women up because, you know, you cannot have it all. Men have never been able to have it all. You know, and, and that's something that we've known, but yet women have been told you can have it all. You can have all the money. You can have all the power. You can have the children. You can have the house. You can have, you, you can have it and you can have it however you like. Don't let anyone tell you anything different. And a lot of women are brainwashed with that today by corporate, by, by corporations that use women's empowerment and women's liberation to tr to convince women to buy things so while they're while they're telling women that they can they can do this and they and they and they should be independent and they should celebrate said independence then they're trying to sell them things at the same time i mean guys think about how terrible a number of years ago during the uh during the super bowl it was crazy there was a commercial and the commercial was like run like a girl you know swim like a girl 
hit a, you know, um, like, you know, like play tennis like a girl, like, you know, you know, like a girl. So and at the end of the commercial, you're expecting to see like, you know, the swoosh and Nike. And it doesn't say Nike. It goes always. What? What, 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 what are you doing? You're so, you're trying to sell. You're basically trying to sell product. You sell your products, you know, sanitary napkins as uh, using and using empowerment. Like you're empowered by using always. Like what? So are these like a performance enhancing? Because you know, with Nike, they're like, oh, you use Nike, you play, you wear Nike, you're going to put your your performance is going to be better. Are you? I mean, guys, what is going on here? But it's no surprise because. Corporations don't actually care about anyone. They care about making money, and they will sell whatever net you sell and use whatever narrative they have to to get said money. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications to never miss another video again. And also, also, like the video so YouTube knows that you're enjoying this content. You want to see more of it, and more of my content will appear in your sub will appear in your suggested videos and also on your homepage. Guys, this is crazy. I mean, and look, at you, we can see it here. Women are struggling with loneliness as password bros are leaving. And really, there's not much else that can be done about this. You know, it's only going to get, it's only going to become more and more difficult over time. And then the, sadly, there's there are the echo chamber vets who are never going to change. Their call. Get out of the car. Nothing good is going to come of you trying to get him to notice you, you trying to get him to care, you trying to get him to be interested. The only thing you're going to do is continually devalue yourself in such a way that is going to send you in uh, to dark night of the soul, uh, maybe a complete and total rock bottom, maybe you'll completely and totally lose your self-worth and then do it again with the next guy. But I will tell you something, there's literally nothing good that is going to come of you chasing him. So you know, do you? She was a little too late to realize chasing after Chadron was a complete waste of time. It's way too late. This whole dating thing is a bunch of horseshit. So I just want to tell you about two out of like only five experiences. The very first one, before even going out on a date with this guy, I found out that he actually had a girlfriend of three years. Next guy, I went on two dates with him, and then I found out he has a girlfriend who's pregnant. I mean, I, I jumped, I like bailed off of those things. No more online dating. I was just seeing if anyone had grown up yet. So I bought a ticket to, to the uh, jazz concert for myself tonight. And I am going on a date with me. Because these guys suck. And not in a good way. These it's so crazy because now you have these strong independent women who are now basically who are marrying themselves, who are who are who are who are very much alone. And, you know, they're discovering that, like, I've told you this already, a lot of the, the, the orbiters, there's, there's something wrong with them. You know, a lot of these orbiters are not men that are, 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 a lot of the orbiters that are online, for example, the guys that are courting them online, a lot of these men are not men that are even, at, that they can actually have relationships with. You know, a lot of these guys are just trying to get pictures from them or trying to get, uh, or trying to, or trying to, to have a, a quick one night stand with them, but that's just about it. And you know, when you have women who don't realize that their sexual marketplace value has diminished significantly, and the kinds of men that are just looking for them are just looking for a quick one night stand, a quick hookup, and then they wanna leave, it's unfortunate because these women, they end up getting taken advantage of. But, and, and the, the truth is though, these are also the same women that took advantage of lots of men throughout their lives, using men to pay for their bills, pay their rent, you know, pay pay for their dinner, pay for pay, fix their fix things for them, and they did this mercilessly. And now it's almost the reverse is happening to them, and they can't seem to fathom any of this. I mean, what do you guys think about this? Women are struggling with loneliness as password bros leave. The password bros are just going on about their business, and 
you know, this, and they still, and a lot of them just still can't comprehend that they're responsible, that they need to take accountability for decisions that they made. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and she.